Hello, my name is Steve Gerhardt and welcome to the Anagi Observer. I'm so glad you're here to watch today's video. Today's video is a little bit different than my normal anime history movie kind of reviews. Um, I think this is the first time this season or second time that I've actually done a manga review, a retro manga review. And so this one is for you manga lovers out there. I hope you enjoy this video because it is going to be about a particular um, collection of short stories by Mitsuru Adachi. Hopefully I'm saying that name correctly because if you see his artwork, you will instantly recognize it even if you don't know who he is. It's, his stuff is everywhere. I mean, you can't escape it. It, it, it literally is everywhere. Uh, the guy is also a really good writer. He does excellent slice of life type of stories, uh, particularly romance stories, uh, shonen, shoujo, and, and, and the like. And he's really good at it. He's really known for that, as well as sports. So the manga that I want to show today is kind of like a, a collection of individual stories that he had done over the years between, I think, 1983 and 1985 for various uh, manga magazines. And uh, they put it into a collection where uh, Anne America made a graphic novel out of it, and it was called Short Program. And there are three collections, uh, Short Program 1, 2, and 3. I'm going to look at Short Program number 1 today, which came out, I believe, in 1987. And here it is. I don't know if you can see that, but there you go. All right, so like I said, short program is basically a bunch of romance stories. Um, they cover the spectrum, shonen, shoujo, like I said, and uh, some of them are a little bit sports related. Um, one in particular is, um, let me see if I can find the title. I don't always remember the titles. Oh, it's um, Take Off. It's one of my one of my favorites. Uh, there's also another one about um, a peeping tom, and then there's uh, another story about um, a kid who goes into a coffee shop who moons over <clears throat> a girl who's a little bit older than her, and her younger sibling is kind of a thorn in his side. And there's a story that goes on to that on, along with that. There's a sort of detective story that goes along a ghost story almost. Uh, there's also one about where people pretend that they are someone else and they meet up just in case they look at each other and don't like each other. So there's a whole bunch of stories. It's about eight stories in total in this book right here. And it's kind of hard to find. Um, it's, I, think, I think it may even be out of print. So you might have to go to eBay or Amazon to find a used copy. Um, I acquired this copy accidentally. Um, it came from the library, and what had happened was uh, I got it and joined it and somehow lost it, and then I, you know, had to pay for it because you know, I couldn't find it to return it. And then, like, five years later when I moved to a new apartment, and as I was packing, guess what I found? So I decided to keep it because it's it's actually really, really good. It's it's uh, Some of these stories are really cute. Some of these are really uh, a little bit sad, and some of these are just kind of fun. Um... So if you can get your hands on this, actually, I would try a library first. Um, I know that I harp on the libraries because I worked in one and I'm a real big believer in libraries, but they have a tendency to be able to get things like this that they, even if they don't have it on the shelf, maybe they can acquire it for you so that you can you know check it out. Um, so yeah, this is if you, if you're in the mood for just a simple slice of life romantic stories. I'm a sucker for romance. It doesn't matter what kind of romance. I, I'm just a sucker for it. I mean, I, I own Strawberry Panic. So, stuff like this is always appeals to me. Um, but it's fun. It's nice. It's it's different. It's not, you know, gore or goro or, or you know, you know, feudal Japan where everyone's waving swords at each other and being stabby or, you know, superpowers or anything like that. It's literally just a slice of life kind of thing. So, anyway, if you can find it, it's short program. Uh, get the first one. That's probably the best one. The other two are fine, um, but this one is the best. And the story and art is Mitsuru Adachi. I'll put his, his name will be down below. And if you can find it, um, get it. It's worth the time. And it's actually, 
you know what? I'm going to tell you to try and find it and buy it. That's how much I like this. You should own this. So yeah, that's the end of that short little manga review on a book that you should really own and enjoy. And uh, sorry for the shortness and brevity of today's um, video, simply because I had a lot of work to do for my theater over the week and even over this holiday weekend, so I didn't have a whole lot of time. Um, speaking of stories, if you want to go to my blogger site, I throw stories up there from time to time. I'll put the link down below if you want to check it out. You don't have to. I'm just throwing it out there. Um, if you like this video, please like it. If you sub if you want to subscribe to my videos, to my channel, that would be awesome. I would love it. You uh, you know, if we get 250 this season, then we're gonna you know have digital sushi. And who doesn't like digital sushi? You like it, I like it. So let's try and get 250 subscribers. So I would love it if you subscribe. Um, again, COVID-19 sucks, but do what you got to do. Stay healthy. Practice social distancing. Wear your face mask. Do what you need to do because I want you guys to be A-OK -okay so that we can go to conventions so that maybe we can meet up and maybe we can talk about the things that we like and love. So be safe out there. I love you guys, and I'll see you next week.